Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm swapping out the belt, the tensioner, and the idler pulley on my Toyota Tundra 5.7. I wasn't going to record a video on this because there are plenty of really good videos on how to do this already available on YouTube. However, um, this video isn't about the DIY replacing those components. Instead, it's about the quality. And in this instance, it's you're not getting what you paid for. So like many of you, I went on Amazon, I, I looked it up, and I picked up a kit off Amazon, a Gates kit, and it consisted of a belt, tensioner, and also either pulley. There's a part number, and here's a screenshot of what the listing looked for, uh, looked like. And it was over $130 plus tax uh, to my door. And the belt is a good belt. It's Gates. They, they've always made good belts. And uh, in fact, Daco many years ago had issues with degradation involving their belts. They've since resolved that. Uh, so I, I'm happy with either a Gates or Daco belt. No issues whatsoever there. Uh, my issue isn't so much that as much as it, as it is this idler pulley. So here is the stock idler pulley. Now Toyota Deco is an OEM supplier to Toyota. You can see Deco right there. This is a quality unit. You can look at all the machining. This has over 130,000 miles on it. I've replaced the belt three times. This will be my fourth. Uh, however, I've never swapped this out, which is why I wanted to go ahead and change this out and the idler pulley. And no, still, no issues whatsoever. It's a quality part. No bearing noise. Zero flex absolutely none this is the brand new unit that comes in the gates kit it's made by lighten is what it appears to be l-i-t-e-n-e -E. uh, made in china and i'm not knocking chinese source products uh, uh, there are some really good products that come out of china as well and then obviously some that are not so good and this one is brand new look at the machining on here it looks like somebody took a grinder wheel to it and then in addition listen look i don't know if you can see it on video can you hear that there is a ton of play in the bearing and this it, this is a brand new part then in addition look at all of these nicks these are not scratches. These are actual nicks in the metal. And I can only surmise it's because this idler pulley was banging up against this in this box. And so, and it just kept nicking the roller. And that's not, again, I'm not saying that the belt is going to prematurely fail because of this. However, a brand new part, I don't expect to have this type of, this many nicks in it whatsoever. Now, the idler itself appears to be a quality part. It's uh, made in Canada. Doesn't give me a company name, but uh, again, there's a little bit of play in there. In fact, there's more play in here than on the original idler pulley that's still in the truck with over 130,000 miles in it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna install this or this in the truck or the belt. I'm gonna put this back in it. I'm gonna put the original belt back in it because I can source off Amazon a tensioner, an original Deco tensioner, a Deco idler, and I'll get another Gates belt for over $20 less than the Gates kit. And again, you know, given that it's a Toyota, I wanna put in what I feel would be a Toyota equivalent part. And these came on the truck. So I'm gonna put the same thing back in it because I'm just not comfortable putting a, what I feel is a subpar part in there. So I hope this video helps you. Again, I'm not saying this is gonna fail. The reviews indicate they're, they're hit and miss. It's about four and a half stars total. Um, some people say they failed uh, prematurely. Others say it's just worked absolutely fine. However, for me, peace of mind, uh, not only that, I'm going to save a few bucks in it. I'm just going to go with uh, the original Deco parts. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Part two of the installment, Deco versus Gates. Uh, I already went through my concerns with the brand new Gates belt tensioner for my Tundra and the idler pulley. And look what I received in the mail. Deco equivalent. So this is the Deco idler pulley. And then... Amazon got these back in stock. This is the belt tensioner, the Serpentine belt tensioner. And I want to compare these. I showed you the used version off my Tundra to compare to the Gates. And in fact, I was so uncomfortable with the Gates that I put the used idler pulley and belt tensioner back on the truck. 
until I can get the Deco equivalents. The way I look at it is Deco is what Toyota put on there and I wasn't happy with the quality of the gate. They make good belts, but I question the quality of this. And then here is the Deco Serpentine Belt Tensioner. And already, you can just tell, there's a huge, significant difference in quality. Um, this one has all of the machining marks on there, everywhere, all the way through. This one has zero machining marks, which tells me it was manufactured to spec. In addition, and it's a small detail that only saves me a few seconds, but again, it's that extra level of detail that Deco goes through. They already put a pin in here so that I can just bolt this on, put the belt, pull the pin. I'll have to uh, uh, relieve some of the pressure on it, of course, but again, there it is. So to compare the two, this even feels a little heavier. I'm not saying the Gates is going to prematurely fail. I'm sure it will work, but for how long? That is my question. And now in addition, this is the idler pulley. This is the Gates version, uh, made in Canada. This one was made in China. This one does have a little bit of wobble in it. And then look how much it spins already for a brand new bearing. It's interesting. The Deco version, there's a difference. Deco version does not, it's very, very tight and has zero, and I mean zero, wobble in it. So again, quality, questionable. And then also, one thing I forgot, on the Deco pulley, look at the surface, there is zero marks on it. On the gates, brand new, all these gouges. This is, you could feel all of this. Now, will it lead to premature belt failure? Very likely not, but again, you know, these are all the details that lend themselves to the fact that I don't want to put this on my truck. The original has lasted 130 uh, plus thousand miles. It's still perfectly in good condition. It's just preventive maintenance. And so why would I replace it with what I feel is an inferior product? I will put this on there and I'll just keep the uh, original as a spare. Not that I expect uh, this one to fail at any point in time. Anyhow, thanks for watching. That's a uh, um, gate versus Deco, at least in this application. And for uh, my Tundra, I'm going with uh, Deco. Have a great day. Thanks.